The Virginia shellfish industry generated $53.4 million in sales in 2017, and the center of it can be found on the eastern shore. Wild harvested clams and oysters are still an important part of the supply chain, but today more of these mollusks are carefully raised near Willis Wharf by a handful of family businesses like the H.M. Terry Company. Our clams have been farm raised and hatchery produced by us and are about three and a half years old. Now we have harvested them, their final harvest, before they reach the uh, end consumer. So we're going to wash them, grade them, count them, pack them, and, and get them prepared for shipping. The shellfish industry in Virginia is very strong. Virginia, uh, as of last year, was leading the nation in um, hard clam production. We are located on um, a very specifically uh, pristine body of water, our creek, Harding Creek, uh, which you can see sort of behind us, goes out to um, the Great Machapunga River, which leads into Hog Island Bay. The clams are raised out in Hog Island Bay because of the perfect water conditions. There are no freshwater rivers or streams, just salt water, and the tide rises and falls an average of six to seven feet twice a day, bringing in fresh water to grow the crop. Currently, we're growing somewhere around 75 to 80 million clams a year for market. Um, so um, here in Willis Wharf, where there are four clam producers right here on Parting Creek, um, we actually hatch. Uh, our hatcheries hatch probably better than 90% of all the farm clams grown in the United States right here on this little creek. Unlike oysters, which are grown in cages, clams are seeded right into the bottom and are covered with nets to protect them from predators like the cow-nosed ray. The nets are kept clean, and the clams actually dig down several inches into the soil at different times of the year. It can take three and a half years or more to raise clams from seedlings to maturity. Like farming on land, a lot depends on Mother Nature. Only with shellfish, you can't see how your crop is doing until it's time to harvest. Shellfish aquaculture is one of the few things that is truly a green process. It's very sustainable. We're putting animals into the water that actually clean the water as they grow. Um, and then when we take them out, we're not, um, we're not affecting any of the wild stocks. We're actually taking pressure off of the wild stocks. So it's something that you can really feel good about. You're, we're, we're growing food for people to eat uh, in a very sustainable way which um, which is really, is really cool, I think, and it is one of my favorite things about what we do. While clams are raised in sheltered bays on the eastern shore, oysters are typically raised in cages right along the Atlantic Ocean coastline. Both industries take advantage of the shore's clean environment to mimic nature's growth process. The folks that raise them say there's nothing better than fresh Virginia clams and oysters, or both. You shouldn't be afraid of eating seafood. I mean, at at the very least, cook it, and then that will kill any bacteria that would be there. Uh, but if you if you like raw shellfish, you know know where it comes from, know who who it came from, and and how long it's been out of the water, and then go for it. A lot of expensive equipment and labor go into the process of bringing these tasty mollusks to market. So after years of seeding, raising, sorting, and shipping are finished. Brian Terry says it's gratifying to see a financial return on their investment. The aquaculture industry also is a vital part of this rural region's economy. This part of Virginia is a very well-kept secret. It's a tiny peninsula that at its, at its widest point is seven miles wide. You know, where we're standing down at the, the southern tip of the county, it's maybe a half mile to a mile and a half wide. And going all the way up to the, the Maryland, Delaware part of the shore, it just keeps growing and growing. It's a very fertile ground on land and on water. It uh, provides enormous amounts of jobs for all types, from farmers to aquaculturists, from crabbers to fishermen, to uh, horticulturists, to bird watchers, to you know, tourism. Every facet of country living is uh, seen here on the eastern shore of Virginia. Virginia's eastern shore is a wild and beautiful place to visit, and you can't find fresher seafood anywhere else. The aquaculture industry here makes all that beauty and great food possible. On Virginia's eastern shore, 
This is Dave Miller.